Back in 2010, I did an analysis of Roger Federer's serve patterns from the uh, Australian Open, which he won that year. Over 50% of his juice court first serves went exactly here, they went out wide. And the reason is, Federer is looking for a forehand after the uh, serve, and he's also looking to force a lot of errors. A lot of the opponents that you have will have a bigger, more potent forehand in general. And from the back of the court, when, the, when you're rallying, the ground stroke may be a lot bigger. But what I started to see over time from analyzing the wide forehand return in the juice court is that you will never put a forehand under more pressure than in this situation. What happens a lot is that it's just a big step, the feet don't get organized very well, and because it's a forehand return, the returner says, you know what, I got a forehand, I'm gonna go for it, and they're playing offense when actually they're on defense. So if you do get pulled out wide here, blocking it, getting the ball back in play is very important, and know that you'll never put a forehand under more pressure than out wide returning serve in the juice court.